Hello, and here we are at the New Artisan Studio, NAS for short, for NAS Talks. And today we're going to have Jeff McLennan. Yeah, you got her. Yay! Good okay, um, and he's going to be speaking about his photography. Currently, he's here with his work for the compilation exhibit. However, starting April 16th, we're going to be having Exhibit A, in which we will be featuring all our A-list artists. So we'll be continuing on with the series. Okay, so yeah. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, fantastic. Good. Um, so first question, what made you get into photography as an art medium for you? Well, as an art medium, it started off as a hobby. And I guess in many ways it still is a hobby. But it's a hobby that I tried to do something with. And uh, I really like the idea of capturing an image that is uh, sort of you know, instant. You know, I, I can't really paint all that well, so when I see a wonderful texture, or it, when I see, um, you know, a, a, a composition that I really like, I, I want to capture it. I want to capture it quickly. So that's the excellent way to do it is just with photography. So that's that's what I, that's how I got into it, really. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, what type of camera do you use? Well, I use an entry level uh, DSLR. It's mm -hmm. made by Nikon. It's the D3000. Right. And I only have the kit lens with it, so I have a minimal uh, amount of uh, equipment to work with. But I kind of like that. I kind of mm -hmm. like being able to, uh, you know, um, use a limited amount of uh, equipment to make my photographs. Um, I don't do too much like processing after the fact either. I try to keep my photos as, as natural as when they were taken. You know? mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. And to you, what makes, when, when you're in that process of yeah. either, you know, like developing and choosing a photo, what makes a photo go from good to exceptional and one that you want that's to a, display? That's a really good question. Um, mostly for me, it's if I capture an image and, and I, I like it as, as like an artist, then I think, well, maybe, maybe others will also, you know. And then, then there are some photos that just... I think are, are, will universally work around, like with everybody kind of thing. But I take chances to, you know, with some of my um, textural works and stuff that I personally like, which I hope others will too, but yeah, that's basically how I do it. Yeah. And what inspires you in your photography? Ah, just like very excellent compositions and texture and trying to capture something that maybe people just kind of walk by and don't really notice. Like for example, I took a picture of uh, of like rust, and I did like a kind of a close up of it. And if you didn't know it was rust, it would look like a like an aerial photograph of of like you know from I don't know like you know of some land and water. Right. And uh, so like I like to be able to somewhat trick people into into thinking that something else, but but actually it's just rust on a dumpster, you know. <laughs> so I, I like to do that for sure. Okay. Yeah. So do colors play in? Because what makes you choose? You know. Having like Colors being definitely, black and white yeah. as opposed to being in color. I grapple with that. I struggle with what photographs to make black and white and what not to make black and white. But uh, usually the, the high contrast photos, like for example this one here, it, it definitely uh, lends well to black and white than, than color for sure. Mm -hmm. right. And so you just kind of, I don't know, after a while you just sort of get an idea for what works and what doesn't, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well that yeah. sounds terrific. And we just heard that you're a father. Yes, so yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much, yes. So is he going to be a photographer as well? I don't know. He'll be whatever he wants to be, pretty much.